What's up? What's up, guys? What's up, YouTube? What's up, Sirili? And what's up, wherever you are watching me from, bro? Man, this LJ thing, I think it's getting more, more, and more annoying because for the past few months, this brother, in weeks also, this brother have been going to court and all that, and at the end of the day, there's no good result. You get? Now, I want to read exactly what he posted like 15 hours ago on his page. I don't know if it's him because this day's LJ page has been so confusing because a post may sound like he's the one that did it directly. And at the end of the day, another post will seem like he's not the one. It's somebody handling the account. Okay? Don't get don't get it twisted. And then some of you are like, oh, IB is not the one. But go and check a previous post that he made after the car session on Friday. You get me? Go and check that post, and you know what I mean by that. Now, let me read this, what his brother, his elder brother stated, and what Maurice uh, uh, said, and Maurice responded to him. And this is one of the most satisfying responses I've ever seen. You get me? And I was, I was really, really vibing to this, because... It's really, really important. Not LJ, I'm, I may not read what he said, but this is what he said. He said, the music industry, the entertainers are actually not giving attention to his brother right now because some of these people are finding it comfortable, okay, right now for them to get the fame because LJ is not around. This is what his brother said. You get, and he further said it a whole lot. Now, Maurice stated this. Brother, man, I'll, I'll, I'll buy you KFC. <laughs> We're not cool like that, but dude, you said a whole lot of things, man. Let me get my glasses on. Now, this is what Maurice said. Maurice said, LJ did a jail because you put him before by your politics campaign, right? Why you want blame friends? Why some friends they jail innocently because of LJ? Fact. How you go blame industry for waiting to happen to LJ? When are you personal issue? Bro, you post disappointing bad. Most of we get issue with people because of LJ. And let me tell you guys. If some of you guys are thinking that this is politically uh, influenced or this is a political thing. It might be, it might be because of LJ involvement in his broader new political party that he opened. And Maurice boldly stated this, that his brother is supposed to blame himself. It's not the entertainment industry because, and I want to look at it in a way that his brother is supposed to blame himself. LJ himself is supposed to blame himself, even though you're trying to be supportive. But this is not Nigeria. This is Cyril Young, for crying out loud. Everybody knows you, you get me? Sometimes you'll be like, some of you will be like, oh, well, Davido did it with his own co and stuff, and you know, bah. You know your location, you know, you know your, your country, you know the rule of law, that it's been cooked for how many, how many years? You get me? And you still feel like you have to mess with your reputation. That's what some of you guys don't get in this country, Cyril Leon. You guys decide to temper with your reputation because you feel like it just, it just, you know, at the end of the day, nothing happens. But there are a whole lot of things when it comes to you being famous. People can take you for, for, for granted. People can, people can seek all means to get you messed up. More especially, LJ is, is like standing in front of the mouth, right, of these people to be swallowed. Because of already what he's doing with his, his, his uh, music. You get me? So if stuff like this is happening, you should definitely know that LJ himself is supposed to get himself blamed. Not only his brother. Because his brother, I 100% believe that. His brother was just thinking about him being a, 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 a civilian, like a normal citizen that decided to come and open the his own political party, but I believe Alejo would have been like, okay, bro, you know what I'll do for you? I'll help you campaign, but opening your own political party, do it. When time comes for you to campaign, I'll, I'll campaign with you. I'll, I'll just 
give some updates. Like, but you need to be smart when you're dealing with people who are not straightforward. You get me? But and 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 he continue to say this. The reason why Alej did in a jail now because of you. Try not go kill uh true not go kill anybody. So make I tell you true, big bro. Don't creak Prezo Rahim, Zulakai all day jail because of LJ. What do you want people for do? Make them lock we all, make them lock we all up and left uh, with family for suffer because of LJ. Tell me about your lawyer not gets uh, power, a reform not gets power, fuller community not gets power for save uh, the the young people, young people them. Na the industry we uh, na industry you want for do with him. LJ in friend then go do we then go able to do aside Facebook post or creep uh, creep we here in uh, solidarity all this they happen to LJ because of you that that is that is hundred percent fat man and I believe the RFM lawyer the fuller community LJ family but we are not trying to let it look like it's supposed to be on your head. You get the music industry is supposed to be there too because it belongs to something. It's part of the all star. You get me? At the end of the day, if you are looking at the reason why some of us are being part of our societies is to be protected when stuff like this do occur. You get in one way or the other, I believe the all star they have done and they are still doing their best to get the brother man out. But Ishmael, the blame game, that's the same thing that L uh, Cool J wanted to do. But the blame game will not help anybody. It's won't. So don't blame anybody. And kudos to you, brother, man. Now, this is what LJ, or a member who is handling his page, stated, okay, like 14 hours ago. He said, LJ is currently fighting for his life at special court custody between him and an ex major barrier who appears to approach LJ two times in this cell with a pistol threatening him to stop singing against his government. Really? Really? Like, like really, really, this happened. And then it continues to say, the offer the, the officer and name now Major Mia, he don't threaten multiple times to shoot me. If I not stop for the singer, but Prezo, Bio, also Fatima Bio, uh, he don't they ask me for money for in Peking, in fees, car, fix, also for. Then I call the top officer of security, Colonel Gregor, to report the matter. Then he was banned to me sell it was banned to me sell after it showed up with a gun in my cell two times since then he has been intimidating me changing personnel's uh personnel wrongfully just to press me accusing me of things like cell phone drinks have you seen it but like i i won't lie you get like I'm not trying to mess you up, but brother, man, be careful. Be careful. You get me? Be careful. I, I said it earlier. Be careful. And now it's pressing that every officer that has been working during my time, of, uh, during my time, he yeah, sure be changed. And I said, no problem. I asked them to take me to uh, Padamba Road because me too. Don't trust uh, his act. So now they forced me to stay and I took uh, all my stuffs. I was standing by. I don't trust the place, especially cuts, because it's only me in my corner and so anything can happen. And I've seen and heard about what's happened at Spademba Road, jail, break where innocent people get killed. I'm scared for my life. And I don't feel safe. Message from your firm management team. You get it. Now, this post just lets you know that one, it's likely to happen, right? Because most of this 
police officers, they are super unprofessional and like intimidating people. They are good at that, more especially with serial unions. Even with ourselves, we like intimidating people as soon as we have little authority. You get me? And true, brother man, it's good for you to take your time. It's good for you to keep your eyes on yourself. And it's good for you to know that you are not safe and trying your best to be safe. But the government itself needs to look at this and know that, yes, something is going on wrong. And number three, brother, for your own safety, okay? Please, Sierra Leone is not U.S. And even U.S., I believe that you don't take your, your cell phones inside. For the case not to be annoying or go against you, just go according to what is, is supposed to be done. Because at the end of the day, these people will use all those annoying things against you to keep you inside there for long because they will even want you to be there for long. So if you are given all those obstacles for you to be there for long, they'll they will be glad to keep you there. You get it. So I believe a whole lot of people have seen this and I pray they take action towards this because this is not fair. This is not fair. So, but me, that's all I have to say. You guys can share the video. Let them know that I've said my own thing. Peace out.